Hello, welcome to Sonic Touch number 10. Uh, it's a quite a big deal. I guess it's a milestone, one might say. And I do feel uh, that there's something lacking in my life. Usually at this point, I turn and I say, and here is Gaz Williams, my co-host. But sadly, Gaz cannot be with us today. Uh, he's in Paris working on a fairly major musical where he's uh, doing great works, doing um, technical stuff and also playing bass. So he's going to be on stage glamming it up uh, over the next few weeks. So hopefully we'll have him back very soon and we wish him the best of luck in his new gig. So what's been happening? I know it's been a little while since our last episode. Uh, Music Mess has been in the way and I had a little bit of a break. But uh, in the meantime, Propeller Heads have finally had uh, their new iOS app figure released for the iPad. More on that later. But first, Earlier this week, we went to the Gadget Show in Birmingham, Jack Gadget Show Live, which is sort of a big consumer electronics show. There was quite a lot of stuff there, as you can imagine, that sort of crosses over into the audio field, and even more that was were sort of relevant to the iPad and uh, iPhone market. First thing I'm going to look at is a speaker system that really is much bigger than it has any rights to be. Let's take a look. Hi, my name's Andy Caddick, and I'm sales director for Wowie One. So, what is Wowie One? Well, we won very simply, uh, Jello Audio technology in the space of uh, a portable speaker. Um, here we have a branded unit, uh, MTV, um, but this is new technology and it's taking the, um, the, the sound to a different level. Um, it's a transducer, but the unique character is about the uh, Jello Audio. Because of the speaker system gel and we can use it either high end or low end, we choose to use a low end, which produces the bass. We can actually um, create large voids or volume of bass from a very small uh, speaker. And put it down. It sounds great as a speaker by itself without putting it onto a service, but as soon as you put it onto a service, it transduces and turns that service into a mini subwoofer. If I can explain, that's what it does. So if you put this on top of a car, it turns the car into a subwoofer, the bass. So it produces a lot of bass. It actually produces 90 decibels of bass, which is quite a lot for a small unit. Well, we have a we have a low end a big driver inside, and we have a top end little tweeter speaker. The driver inside is about 20 watts. That's what it'll produce. The top end speaker is about two watts. So there is a crossover. So we can use the driver to produce high end and low, but we'd have a bigger speaker. We don't. We are trying to make things smaller. The classic it retails at 50 pounds. The slim, which is the thinner version, retails at 79 pounds, and the pro, which is all singing and dancing, bells and whistles, retails at 130 pounds. So yes, that was indeed Andy Caddick, the world-famous international cricketer. I'm not quite sure how he ended up hooking up there. Very business-like man. I'm thinking uh, that when I spoke to one of the other people on the stand, they said that he kind of got involved because being on the road so much and living in at hotels, because cricketers spend a long time away from home, he wanted something that he could listen to when he was out working. He was just glad that this had come along. In fact, MTV have also put their weight behind this product. In fact, they're giving it lots of advertising on the MTV channel. So expect to see it quite a lot soon. Uh, one of the things that didn't really come across in the video was just how big and bassy it really did sound. I mean, obviously uh, in the hall there, it was a lot of background noise, but it was very impressive. When you put it on a surface that has some kind of resonance, it really started to kick out the bottom end. Fantastic thing to work with your phone or iPad or any such thing where you just need a bit of extra power. So there were also some other speaker systems. Uh, we took a look at one of the Bluetooth systems, which I thought was actually, again, sounded much bigger than it had any rights to be. Let's take a look. Hello Sonic State, this is Arjun from Desire, and this is our brand new product, the Wireless Beatbox. It works via Bluetooth, as it says on the front. And you've got the full control panels on the top, which let you change volume, track, you can even play or pause it from here. If you've got old MP3 players, or even a laptop or TV, plug it in here and you're good to go. Rechargeable, right? Rechargeable, yep. Um, charges using the cable here, of course that's provided takes around 90 minutes to go from dead to 100% and you get at least two to three days tunes out of it unless you're a real music head in which case it will last you probably a little less. So it's got a bass port down here right? Is yep you've got a bass port down there. What I had to do had to run from you I'm in love with you so it's stereo yeah? It's stereo sound yep you've got two speakers one on the left one on the right both facing outwards and you've got that little chamber in the middle that's giving that little punch of air and that punchy noise which you're not going to get from an iPhone or an iPad. They're only $49.99 and today at the Gadget Show we're doing a show price of $39.99. 
So come grab yourself a bargain. So once again, that's around the 50 quid mark. It again, sounded very impressive in that environment. I also saw quite an interesting stand from rat stands called the Z3. Have a look at this. Uh, hi, I'm David um, from Rat Stands. Um, this is the Z3 iPad floor stand. Um, it's a fully collapsible stand for your iPad, which folds down in three easy steps. And also protects the iPad. It can also be slipped inside the gig bag, which we do as an accessory, um, when it's ideal for iPad users on the go. How are you dealing with the different uh, iPad Thicknesses, shall we say. Uh, this stand actually holds all three generations of the iPad. So if I take the iPad off, this is the iPad 1 that I've got here. Um, so the plastic um, is just bare like that. But we do actually do a uh, um, little pad that goes on four corners, which holds so means you can do. Exactly, yeah, exactly. And are there any uh, plans to sort of add other fixing points for kind of guitar ports? And uh, not at the moment, although we are in the middle of a um, sort of product development um, of this product, so there will be um, accessories and add-ons to it later on this year. A little bit wobbly at full extension, but uh, I mean something that would be, I don't know if I'd use it here, because if I was poking at it quite hard and I wanted to view the camera it might wobble a bit, but something worth considering, I think they're over about £130, £140, so not the cheapest, but certainly quite cool. So at the other end of the market is the ridiculously cheap iFold Away. If I switch here, it's a little tiny, almost throwaway device. Take it out, it's a, like a plastic, um, it's a polymer that apparently has no nasty stuff in it. And it just folds out like this. Uh, let me see, I've got, I haven't got an iPhone, but I have got my Android device. And it just sits and holds it very neatly on the tabletop. Nice little system and something that uh, I think is about three or four quid. They also do uh, an iPad savvy version so you can sit your iPad either in landscape or portrait mode which is about five or six quid. Just a really nice little idea. This is iFold away if I go here, iFold away, iPhone and iPod touch, iFoldaway.co.uk. One last bit of the gadget show, we found this uh, little stand which sold uh, materials that were used in padding for sort of skating and motocross and stuff. Really, really thin and incredibly shock resistant. Uh, there's a great demo uh, featuring some M&Ns and a bowling ball, and they also make cases for iPads and iPhones. So something if you've got a very brutal environment, you might want to consider wrapping your device up in this. Look at this. I'm Sean from G-Former, uh, live at the Gadget Show um, 2012. and. Um, We've got a, a, a new revolutionary product that's made of a material called G-Form, composed of um, Poro and XRD. And as you can see from the stand, we're, we're into different sports products. So we've got um, shorts, we've got the top there, elbow, chin, knee. And we started off at going into sports and be pulled into the electronics range, um, sort of accidentally. Um, we're doing a range of iPad covers, iPhone covers, um, stuff to, to um, cover the iMacs as well. But the actual material is fantastic in the sense that it um, absorbs any, any impact. And we've got a great machine here that will show that for you. So we have, have, have a competitor product here. That's a, that's a foam that, to protect your knees or your elbows. And I'll show you how, how that fares with M&Ms. So we've put the M&Ms in the middle there. We're going to use a 12 pound bowling ball on this one. Nice and heavy, drop it from about three foot up. And you'll see when it, hit, when it hits the concrete and the padding there, you'll see how, how this, this um, protection actually bounces off. It hits and bounces off. There's no absorption of the energy there. And as you can see there, the M&Ms don't fare too well with that smashed the smithereens in fact. So if we use the G-form pads that we use for the elbows and the knees and also for now for the iPhones. <laughs> Same thing and if you watch how the ball hits and then it, it should absorb the impact and not bounce up. So it's a dead hit. Sounds ugly. But as you can see the M&Ms are intact. Soft-sided protection. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Thank you. So some very funky cases and very functional cases. iPad cases starting at around 59 US dollars, going up to 89 for some real serious protection. iPhone cases at about 39 US dollars. Uh, Want to check it all out? Go to g-form.com. So now on to propeller heads figure. Now this was an iOS app that was announced just before Music Messer. We were lucky enough to get to the press conference where we got an interview with one of the developers who showed us a little bit about how it worked and that went massive on YouTube. So I'm guessing you're probably going to be a bit interested in how this works. So here is on running on my iPad. Uh, it's actually a native iOS, as I said, you can upscale it and it scales really nicely just purely because the interface is so clean. And essentially what we have is a three part kind of uh, sketch pad, if you like. So we've got drums, bass and lead synth. Now each of the uh, instruments has a number of presets, all the, you know, they're, they're kind of like uh, interactive instruments that you know have different X and Y axis attributes. This hole is a touch pad. So if I just get a couple, Let's find it. There we go. That's quite a funky one. That's got a bit of delay on it. There's effects and what have you. Uh, quickly, actually, the synthesis engines in uh, figure are actually taken from Reason Proper. So you've got Kong on the beats and I think it's Maelstrom, which gives you kind of an indication of what sort of level of synthesis you, you should be able to achieve with this. I mean, you can't tweak these sounds all that much yourself. Uh, back to the device. So, right, uh, what I can do here is I can affect the number of steps in a pattern. I can affect the range of the, of the pad and I can have the number of musical notes in the step. So if I then just go into record, so I now got a pattern here and it records my finger movements. So then I can go into my beats, let's just go. So I've got a beat there. Right, let's try snare. Each of these little strips is kind of a sort of tiny touchpad, if you like. So if we go back into play mode, Got various different kits. Uh, there's only three kits. That's actually quite a groovy house kit. Uh, yeah, anyway, let's go on to the lead sound. So really, what we're talking about here is the fact that you know it's, it's like a finger sketch pad. It's very very simple, uh, but there are a few other key features which are quite handy. So if I go to tweaks. Uh, I'm going to record, I'll record a little bit. So if I go tweet, I've got various different sort of parameters that I can just access. Try the bass. Then if I go to the song mode, I can change the key. Add a little bit of shuffle. Change the key. Change the tempo. Then I've got various mix and this uh, pump feature which is pretty cool. Uh, what this is, it's like a sort of side chaining effect that you can dial in more or less. Then I've got mix feature. Uh, other cool little features is I can go into a raise mode where I can just take away the bass. So if I go, I'm 
I mean, one thing that is really cool about this is you just kind of get lost in it very, very quickly. It's very, very simple. I mean, but they've obviously done a hell of a lot of work making the interface very compelling. And I, I showed it to uh, my daughter had a friend over. She's only eight. Uh, for school holidays and both the kids just sort of were lost in it for ages going oh wow this is really cool i mean there are some downsides obviously uh, this being the b initial release you can't save you can't bounce to wav you can't do anything it's purely a for the moment thing i suspect that what's going to be happening here is that um propeller heads will uh, either release a way of getting it into reason or at least a way of bouncing it to wavs because i mean that would be the thing for me you know if i'm on the bus as they they use the analogy when the sales you know it's two stops it'll keep you interested for up to two stops on a bus but yes then i want to bounce that because then i've got it as a snapshot because if it's something cool that just sort of gets the juice flow i can bring it back put it in my door that would make this a hell of a lot more useful as it is it's very compelling and very good fun but if i want to keep going I'm going to be overwriting anything I've done. I could, there's no way of going back to that. So that's a bit of a downside. But you've got to bear in mind, this thing's only 99 cents. And frankly, that is next to nothing. I mean, I have, I think there are plans for it to be going up as they release more features. But for this, this price point, it's almost impossible not to want to buy it. And like I said, it works on your iPhone as well as the iPad so you can you know you can literally keep something like this in your pocket so that's it for this week thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed it even though it's just me we will have Gaz back as soon as we possibly can uh, we do miss you and I hope you're doing well but that's it for episode 10 thank you very much for watching oh yes please do leave any comments below we do read them and we do respond to them wherever possible so don't be shy now right away see you later